Queen Elizabeth is in the hospital. Doctors believe she is battling the stomach flu. And at 86 years old, they want to keep a close eye on her. It comes after a busy week for the Queen. Among her events, officially opening a new hospital in London just days ago. But for now, all appearances are on hold. This evening in London, there is already an outpouring of concern for her well-being. And ABC's Jeffrey Kaufman leads us off at that hospital in London tonight. Jeffrey. David, the Queen is spending the night in this private hospital. She will be under close observation, but the palace emphasizes she was admitted simply as a precaution. It is a stomach illness that has put the Queen in the hospital. Her spokesman insists it's not serious, but the Queen is 86 years old. She arrived here not by ambulance, but by car. Her public appearances for most of the next week have been canceled, including a trip to Rome. In her six decades as Britain's Queen, Elizabeth II has spent more time opening hospitals than being admitted to them. She rarely cancels any of the 350 events on her yearly schedule, and when she has, it's been because of a bad cold or back pain. She was last in the hospital in 2003 for knee surgery. Her husband, Prince Philip, is 91 and understandably a little more frail. Last year, after this rain-soaked appearance for the Queen's 60th Jubilee, he was admitted to the hospital with a urinary infection. He had heart surgery in 2011. Since then, he has scaled back his public appearances. But the Queen has not. Just last summer at the Olympic opening ceremonies, she made her appearance with James Bond as her escort. It was a body double jumping from the chopper, but she still stole the show. She is now a patient at King Edward VII Private Hospital, the hospital of choice for the royals. This same hospital was at the center of a media storm late last year when the Duchess of Cambridge was admitted with severe morning sickness. A nurse here committed suicide after answering a hoax phone call. The Queen is expected to spend two nights at this hospital, but doctors say if she really does just have a stomach virus, she could recover quickly.